Welcome back. Florida's annual legislative session begins next week with lawmakers addressing a number of issues and one of the top priorities is a House bill that would make texting and driving a primary offense. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo joins us live tonight with more details on that. Dwayne. Well, guys, uh, the state of Florida says that texting is a secondary offense. Law enforcement officers must pull you over for either speeding or illegally changing a lane before they can issue or cite a ticket for the for uh, for that uh, offense. So uh, law enforcement officers are looking for th all this to change. Florida Highway Patrol Trooper Ken Watson has seen it many times before. Distracted drivers texting and driving, getting too close to other cars, endangering the lives of others. He says it's absolutely critical for this bill to be passed. Any tool that we can have that will help educate the public, it will help us make the roads a little bit safer, is something that we want to see. Watson points to Florida with having some of the most dangerous roads in the country. According to the federal government, they estimate that texting and other distracted driving killed almost 3,500 people nationally, more than nine per day, and injured almost 400,000. Political science professor at the New College of Florida, Frank Alcock, says it's an important step for the state to take. Making it a primary offense, increasing uh, the fine will open the door uh, to sanctions against uh, this activity, which are needed. President of the Manatee Chapter of the NAACP, Rodney Jones, says given the tragic consequences of texting and driving, it's extremely important that it's passed. But he does have some concerns. I think the bill could be uh, perceived in some communities, you know, as another opportunity for law enforcement to uh, potentially racial profile. He says the law will most certainly save lives and believes the majority of area police officers are excellent, but says minority communities are afraid officers would stop mostly black drivers. A lot of people are viewing it as here's another thing uh, for um, them to, to law enforcement to uh, stop us. And according to Alcock, there needs to be clarity on enforcing the law if it passes. Um, it's gonna be very important for uh, law enforcement uh, FDLE in particular to release um, protocols with respect to how they intend to implement this law. Watson looking at it from a standpoint of saving lives. I don't want the public to think that this is just another opportunity for them to be pulled over and cited. This is an opportunity for you to drive safely. Now, Florida is one out of seven states that does not allow police to pull someone over just for texting. Scott, Jacqueline, back to you.